Hi everyone, I'm JD from Miller Van Journals. Welcome back to my channel. So excited to share with you the country diary of an Edwardian lady. I'm probably making a meal of how I'm saying that. But here is this gorgeous book that we all, well, but lots of us love in the junk journal world. I have found my, or I've got my first copy. I hope I get more, but I got this off eBay. Um, and I did do a flip through of the nature notes of an Edwardian lady. So I'll link that below if you want to check that one out and see the difference. But here is a flip through of this one. Oh my goodness. So, so exciting. I love this book so much. So my, my understanding is that this one is from 1906. Whereas the nature notes is from 1905. So there are some slight differences. Oh look, it came from Marie Donald at some point in the past. <laughs> All right, I hope I'm in frame. And let's just have a look at this writing. I just love the script. I love the color of the pages. It's already got that vintage patina to it. And just the illustrations are gorgeous. Oh my goodness. I absolutely love this book so much. Oh wow, look at this. I hope you can just sit back and relax, maybe have something scrumptious to eat or drink <laughs> and you can just enjoy looking at this with me. Oh wow. So my plan is to eventually <laughs> Hopefully when I've built up a bit of a collection and I can bring myself to cut up these pages. I love all this. Is to use some of the pages as covers, some as journal pages, and then others to make embellishments like pockets, tags, journal cards, collages, all that kind of thing. That it will be a while before I can do that. <laughs> I know many of you are like me and we like to get one copy to preserve and one copy to cut up. Or I think I might end up doing what other people do as well where they, um, they can't bring themselves to cut up the book so they will buy pages, separate pages where someone else has already cut the book apart and then I could just use the pages. I might end up doing that. We'll see how we go. But yeah, I love seeing pictures of these jour um, journals, books. Lots of people find them in op shops. I haven't been lucky enough to find them in an op shop yet. So I did just splurge and kind of call it a birthday present to myself when I found it on eBay. Uh, they beautiful. One idea that I would love to do as well is to maybe do a yearly journal, like a year journal, because it has these, it goes all the way from January, look at that, <laughs> to December. So I thought I'd have a go at making some sort of yearly journal. Not sure how that would go. That would be a very, very big project. But yeah, one day I do plan on making very far in the future some Edith Holden journals. That will be one of my collections that will just have my heart. And oh, wow. Oh, Kingfisher, I love the Kingfisher. So pretty. And the great thing about this book as well is that there's a lot of pages. So, you know, some books, there's only like 20 pages. <laughs> um, this one has so, so many pages and just so much use to get out of it. Another reason why I like getting doubles of things is so that I can use one side of the page for one thing and then use the other side of the page for something else especially if there's two beautiful pictures on both sides that helps me to use the pages if I know I have a duplicate <laughs> oh my gosh I love it I love 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 it and it inspires me just in general with my own journaling because this is her diary Edith Holden recording her diary and she uses you know illustrations to embellish her journal so I wanted I don't know it just really inspires me anything to do with diaries journals scrapbooks that I see people do it just makes me want to record my life creatively visually 
and yeah I just love it I want to create something like this I don't know how or when or why <laughs> um, what purpose it would have but it just all I know is it speaks to my heart and, and it inspires me and just makes me love journals and diaries and scrapbooks even more and makes me want to make them do them write them decorate them <laughs> and record my life and document my memories and yeah I just love it and the handwriting is just stunning oh my goodness little pieces of history and even this you'd use this to create like envelopes or something collage on them yeah beautiful so that is the book <laughs> and one day maybe I would like to turn this book into an actual journal once all the pages are gone I could turn that into a very large size journal now that would be a project out of my comfort zone something that big but that's something for the future to think about as well love 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 it let me know in the comments if you enjoyed this flip through and this book and I will see you guys in the next video bye guys